the pedal itself is going to be mounting right here there's a bolt hole right here and on the other side as well these are actually threaded from the factory I'm not sure what this pedal came off of i found it upstairs i had it laying around so we're going to try to make it work for this old chevy though just going to kind of orientate this thing where i think i'm going to want it and then i'm going to mark my two holes we'll drill them we'll get some bolting through the other side and then we can go into attaching our throttle cable Since I am a one man show out here today, I'm gonna go ahead and I threaded a bolt through this way. That way I can pass it through. I'm gonna be able to get a nut on the outside and then I'll start this bolt through the firewall the other side. It's kind of hard to see down in here, but hopefully you can tell that bolt is coming through right there. So what I'm gonna do is get my nut started, but I will not be able to hold the camera and do all that, so just take my word for it. Alrighty, hopefully you can see, I was able to get this other bolt started. So now I'm gonna start backing this one out after I get this one tight and then swap this stud around to where both heads will be outside here. So our next step we need to do, which I should have done whenever the thing was out of the truck, I need to get that little grommet right here where my finger's pointing out, because that's like a ball and socket style, and my low car eliminator pedal, it's got like a little clevis or something in there, I'll show you here in a little bit, but... So now we got that ball and socket out of there. Hopefully you can see that. Now I'll be able to put my retainer through there to hold my other cable in. So next thing we need to do is get us a hole drilled in this firewall so we can run our cable through. So I've made my mark up here. As you can see, that's gonna be where the cable's coming through. All that's gonna be doing is hooking up to our throttle pedal up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole and then we can run our line through and connect it and then we can start plumbing everything to the carburetor. All right, next thing we can do is start running our cable through here and that'll come out by our carburetor. Alrighty, I've got our cable ran back through the firewall and everything, so now we need to hook this up. And then you just got a little pin here go through and then you've got a little bitty c-clip or something along those lines that just pop right back up in here alrighty so let's go to the carburetor side now and we will get it all hooked up all right so our cable is coming through right here as you can tell it is way too long it needs to be back here around this area what we're going to do is snip this and then we'll be putting this back on and that'll go just like that and connect into our carburetor. Alrighty, so it looks like I got ahead of myself a little bit. I'm gonna go back and pull this cable out so whenever I cut the splice for this, it doesn't cut our actual cable because our actual cable needs to be longer so it'll make it up here to the carburetor. So I'm gonna pull this out real quick, make this cut, get all this connected up, then slide our wire back through. I'm gonna put just a little bit of shrink wrap on this just to make it a little bit of a cleaner install and eliminate some of these burrs. All right, now that I've got our cable ran back through again, I'm gonna run it through this piece and then we can start con looking at connecting it to our actual carburetor. All right, with your cable through, you're gonna wanna go ahead and pull your actual throttle pedal tight, kinda get a rough idea of where you're gonna be at. Not exactly sure how far up in here this goes, so I'm gonna cut it a little long first just to be on the safe side. Then we'll run her up inside of here, which looks like it's gonna be a little long there, so we need to trim just a little bit more. Grab our Allen key here and lock it down. 
Alrighty, so our throttle pedal is now officially hooked up. All of our adjustment will be right here. So if it needs to be tighter, you can do so. But let's see if this thing will action and actually go wide open throttle. Definitely went wide open throttle. <laughs> maybe a little too much. Definitely gonna have to adjust on that pedal and maybe even put some kind of stop on it. All right, I'm gonna go inside and try to cycle the pedal and see if everything's working good. Alrighty, so now that I've got all that and everything looks like it's working perfect on this thing, I'm gonna go back and tighten up everything, all the joints and stuff like that so it doesn't wiggle loose and get out of adjustment. All right, I'm gonna see if this thing will fire up and everything's gonna work fine. Hopefully it doesn't hang wide open. <laughs> gives you a little bit of an idea of just doing like a budget friendly exhaust pedal basically i got about 30 i don't know 36 dollars in this setup um, i'll leave a link in the description below so you can find the throttle pedal that i used in this build but basically what i just did was scrounged around upstairs i have a bunch of old f100 parts so i'm guessing maybe that's what that pedal came out of but i mean anything is i got a cj5 tub sitting out front it's got pretty much exactly the same style pedal so a lot of these older vehicles are going to have that kind of pedal so just hunt around and all that good stuff and i'm sure you can find something that'll work just the same as it did on my truck but if you like today's video if you don't care go ahead and leave a like down below and maybe consider hitting that subscribe button but thank you guys and i'll see you on the next one